All right, welcome back. Let's get uh, into some honing. Okay, so right now you can see how shiny and reflective those cylinders are. The goal after this is for it to become matte, like a dull finish. And what we're doing is we're just gonna knock a couple microns of aluminum. This is an allucil block, so aluminum, silica combined. And so what we want is silica to be the high points, so it's gonna look dull, and the aluminum, we're gonna knock a couple microns off of it. This is gonna help bed the rings, create a tight engine, and we're gonna have a really good seal then. And no blow by, hopefully. All right, so for this, we're gonna need uh, three, what? one of these tools. Bought this off of Amazon. Uh, it's just a three leg, uh, and then I wrapped felt around it. Actually, duct tape first then epoxy felt on and then another layer of felt. I actually broke the stones off before thinking that was the advantage. Don't do that. You're just, it's gonna be better. What you really wanna do too, is you, when you're gluing the felt on, glue it on the sides, not the top, because we want the top as flat as possible and not have like any glue also on top of that messing it up, making it hard. Because this is, those are the surface areas that are going to be spinning in the bore and cleaning it up. Okay, the other thing we're gonna need with the hone is you're gonna need the sun in and 30 paste. You get some solvent in there, some good old brake clean. See if I can start seeing some funny colors yet. Probably not, maybe by cylinder six. We're gonna apply a WD-40, it could be uh, ATF or honing oil to the felt of the pads. I'm not sure how much to use, but we're gonna start with this. Okay. The other thing is we also wanna get the cylinders ready and Make sure I don't jab myself with the screwdriver. Ooh, blocked. That's got a fine smell. Okay, so we want to put the paste inside the cylinders as well. All right, so step number one: um, mix it thoroughly. Just did that. Now we're gonna apply it to. I just brake cleaned this screwdriver. So there's nothing to really clean and then apply that to in generous amounts to the cylinder. Okay, cylinder number three. I'm putting it away just yet, but that was the other thing. We gotta put it on the felt as well. On there. Again, not sure how much, but we'll start with a bit. Okay. So I got the the three leg hone in there. And so the instructions say, we're gonna start it and run it for a minute and a half in and out on the slowest speed of your drill. So, here it goes.
Okay, so by the looks of it, there's quite a bit of paste in that one. So just cut it back this time. cover it this time but because we're putting it on the felt and we're going to spin it around that uh, do some more on each of these pads here okay and I've got Brian here and he's gonna do me a favor and start the timer. And she goes. Yeah, hit the timer. Let's go. Two out of six, done. Number two. All right. Hopefully you guys saw that. This time. So because we're using quite a bit, we're gonna try using less on this one. Um, okay, and timer, go. cleaning bank two here and making sure she's dry. What you should do though, instead of the, using the screwdriver like I did for applying the paste, what I'm gonna do right here, right away, you'll see, get like a foam paintbrush, something non-metal. That was poor planning on my behalf. So do better for me next time. I'm trying to get an idea of how much I'm putting in there. Try that again. Hopefully you get an idea of how much I'm putting in there.
much to see right now. It's not clean, but just paste it right up. On to cylinder number one. Alright, cylinder number one. All done. I've got a link to the Audi Zine, um, the webpage that I'm using for this, so I'll put that in the description as well. Put all the links to all the parts and the, and the list of it as well in the description so you guys don't have to, yeah, you can just look there. Alright, so home's done. Definitely the first second was nerve wracking and then it was just, I, like, not too much to it, thankfully. Um, so now we gotta get it clean. Okay, so we're just cleaning down, wiping, cleaning down all the, uh, the cylinders on this side. Oh yeah, it's uh, bank two, four, five, and six. And we just, it was still shiny. So now, what we did is it looks like we just had too much paste, which is an eh, honest mistake. First time doing it. So we learned. Uh, so yeah, we. Uh, so yeah, went back on it, actually didn't add any more, wiped them all down, and then just added a little bit of, uh, of that Sun and AN30 onto the felt pads. WD-40 a bit to get it moving in the cylinder. Another minute 30 on all of these. And now, and that, that's what we should have done in the first place. Thinner on the paste, more WD-40 to get it moving and get, because uh, the paste ended up just being like a barrier protecting the cylinder walls, so they were still shiny. <laughs> so it didn't really do anything the first time around. So now, now we're cooking. So we'll spin them around, clean the uh, bank one out, cylinders one, two, and three. And uh, yeah, probably end up having to do that and uh, re-poning those ones as well. So we'll get to, do, get to it. All right, so we're going for uh, cylinders one, two, three, and four now. And I'm just gonna bring it in front of the camera here. Just uh, cleaned out the bores and put a little bit of paste on each one of the felts. And we're gonna do them again. Uh, we're gonna run it for a minute and a half. Here we go. All right, added some more paste on the felt, and WD-40, and a minute and a half, let's go. All right, cylinder number one, got uh, fresh paste on all the felt again, last one. Alright, second hone is done. Yeah, I'm really happy with how they look now. They're all dull in that mat. Uh, like I was talking in the beginning of the video, that was the goal. So there we go. Let me uh, show you these ones. Uh, get a light on there too. Yeah, so I got some. Uh, I got some cleaning to do. This, I want to clean all that out, the rest of the block, and uh, we'll go from there.
Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Uh, yeah, I think these guys are going to go fast. <laughs>